Hi guys and welcome to Cooking with Karma. Now for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you've already had a little sneak peek at these earlier on in the week. And if you haven't already liked my page, I'd love it if you click the link below and do so. Today I'm going to show you how to make some homemade donuts. Now these are absolutely delicious and really quite simple to prepare. But if you are watching your calorie intake, if you click the link right up here, it will take you to a previous video where I've baked them in the oven. So I really hope you enjoy this one. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. So first up into a bowl, we're going to add in our yeast, the flour, and the water. Give it a good mix and then we're going to set it to one side to allow that yeast to become nice and frothy. Then into a bowl, we're going to add in the flour, the sugar, the salt, the egg, the melted butter, and the warm milk. Then finally we're going to add in our yeast mixture. Then we're going to mix this on a medium speed for about 5 to 10 minutes until that mixture comes away from the bowl and becomes a smooth dough. Then we're going to pop that dough into a greased bowl and cover it with cling wrap and then set it to one side for about an hour until it doubles in size. Then we're going to take our dough and just gently with our hands we're going to flatten that out onto a lightly floured surface until it's about one and a half centimetres thick. Then using whatever you have around the house we're going to cut out our doughnuts. Then using something smaller we're going to make our holes. Once they're all done we're going to pop them to one side for another 20 minutes to rise. And don't get rid of these bits because we're going to use those too. To make our cinnamon sugar, just simply add in some caster sugar and some cinnamon and then mix them together well. To make the glaze, we're going to mix together some icing sugar, some milk and vanilla extract. Now I like to add a little bit of milk at a time until I get the right consistency. Now that our doughnuts have popped up, it's time to get cooking. Into a deep fryer, simply add in our little balls first and just keep them moving so they evenly cook for about three to four minutes. And now it's time to cook the doughnuts. All you need to do is cook them for about two minutes on one side, gently turn them over and cook them for a further two minutes on the other side. Then once they're done, we're just going to let them drain off on some paper towel. And as you can see here, they're beautiful and soft and fluffy. Then while they're still warm, I like to dip them in the cinnamon sugar, making sure they're well coated on either side. Then with the other half, we're going to dip them in the glaze. And of course, don't forget those lovely centers. So soft and fluffy and absolutely tasty, these donuts are a must try. Well now you don't need to go out and buy them, you can make them at home for yourself. Now, as I said, they're absolutely delicious, they're so light and fluffy, I really hope you give them a go. Thanks again for joining me, have an awesome weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday.